All right, ladies and gents, welcome, welcome, welcome to my Blu-ray collection update video for October slash kind of September, the kind of fall months, the autumnal months, if you will, of 2019, a particularly quiet couple of months, especially October, in terms of me buying movies and, and Blu-rays and that sort of thing, but a good wee selection, a very random selection here, some things that I picked up on release day, a couple of things I went out of my way to order from Amazon because I was in a wee kick that I've kind of spoke about before here on the channel so if you've been in tune with all things CM42 TV you might know what I'm talking about and then three totally random pickups from Poundland sometimes when you're just on a shopping spree say you're with your family or you're with your friends and they're getting stuff they want and your family are getting stuff that they're looking for and you're just kind of the odd one out you're just kind of sitting about and going why did I come why did I come on this shopping trip with you it's probably just for a bit of a laugh you know I've come for the day out in the company there's a pound land right there. Let's go in. Let's see if we can get a wee drink for a pound. Let's see if we can get a wee bag of sweets for a pound. Oh, look. They have a movie selection at the back here. They have a Blu-ray collection at the back ready to be bought. And uh, they're all two pounds. A little bit expensive, you know. But uh, sometimes they're particularly random. Just, you know, random enough to the point where you feel... There's no other choice. You have to leave Poundland with these titles. So a couple of those ones. Very random ones that, you know, I'm like, I'm never going to jump out my way to watch these but I'm happy to get them anyway so do you know what because I've t spoke about it so much let's start with those ones the three absolute <laughs> the t absolute randoms I'm literally looking at them now the first time I've seen them in a, in a wee while um, three total randoms one I've seen before this is it and it is Southpaw with Jake Gyllenhaal this is the film that officially made me a fan of Jake Gyllenhaal to say he was one of my favourites and now, I, you know, actually the other day my boss in work asked me who's my favourite actor and Jake Gyllenhaal was the first name to leave my mouth. So I guess that makes it somewhat official. The two pounds stick out, even pricey, you know, especially in the hard times in Poundland, you know, but uh, Southpaw's a great film. The thing about boxing films and sporting films in general, I do really enjoy them, especially when they get going and when you're like, uh, say an hour in, you've got another 45 minutes to go and you're having like a, a really well-rounded, wholesome story um, you know, I, and sometimes the, the sporting films are kind of hard to beat, whether it be baseball or basketball or American football or, or our football or whatever, um, or boxing, MMA, whatever. Uh, but sometimes they do get a bit samey and I never feel, you know, I never go, do you know what I really want to do? I really want to watch an American football film and I really want to watch a baseball film and I really, really want to watch a boxing film. I never really have that. I'll watch them, you know, whenever, you know, if they're on or if someone else has watched them or if they're new or whatever, if I like an actor in it or whatever. I don't have an issue watching them, but it's just that one wee kick to go, do you know what, what I really fancy tonight is like a sporting film. I would like to do a podcast about that. There's the, the podcast in the background here, some, the playlist of all the completed episodes. There's a brand new one sitting on my laptop that as you saw I live streamed the other night or you know the first 32 minutes of it I live streamed. Still to edit the whole thing so um, bear with me on that but uh, yeah this is one of the best films of all time by Will Cousins of uh, Capito FM in 2016. Don't know about that but it's great. It's, it's a really good film. There's some really horrible things that happened to Jake Gyllenhaal's character. It's got Forrest Whitaker in it. Um, so yeah cool. I, I like it. It's got a nice wee slip as well. I like, I've, it's always been one that you see that's really cheap and stuff, and like whether it be in used shops or Poundland, for example, and you always say, oh, there's one I'd like to get, but I've never pulled the trigger, so it's kind of nice to do that now. Building up on my rock collection, we have Empire State, dun, 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 also with Liam Hemsworth and Emma Roberts. So this one I have kind of seen before. There was a wee phase where my cousin was kind of getting... DVDs from a really like really really cheap used shop and it was like really random DVDs that he just kind of was going through a wee action movie phase and this was one of them anytime you see The Rock or Stone Cold or John Cena in one of these sort of like action cheesy flicks I'll, I'll grab it I'll watch it and you know I'll, I'll not take it too seriously I've never really added it to my collection though until now if it's the two pound in pound land The Rock's there Liam Hemsworth is there Emma Roberts is there why not let's add it to the collection I remember enjoying it uh, I remember not really rating it that high, but I remember enjoying it, so if that's the case, if I approve of the film, it's a welcome addition to my movie collection, so it'll be nice to have some more Dwayne cheese in my life, and, you know, anything rock, anything Dwayne, anything silly action, I'm happy to watch pop in the old Blu-ray or PS4 and, and check out as well. I was at one point going to just start a whole Dwayne Johnson collection, just have all the Rock's films and stuff, but... You know, it does have some debatable films. Uh, next up, we have White House Down. 
with Channing Tatum and Jamie Foxx, two great actors. I kind of prefer Jamie Foxx. Channing Tatum goes through the goes through phases with me. Sometimes I think he's a bit pish. Most of the time I think he's quite good. He's especially good in The Hateful Eight. That was the film I went. Do you know what? He's actually quite good. He's quite funny in Twenty One Jump Street and that. But I never really, I never really rate him. This is one I've always wanted to see, but I've never watched. This was always up there with uh, another film. What was the other film that I wanted to watch at one time that I did watch and ended up being quite disappointed by? So I guess it kind of put me off those sort of buddy cop, silly daft action films for a while. But now, you know, I haven't seen it in one of these in like a long time. So I'm happy to check it out. And as I say, I'm a big fan of Jamie Foxx. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this film. As soon as I told folk that I bought this, they were like, oh my God, White House Down, the best ever. So it's going to be cool to finally check it out. Maybe I'll do a wee movie vlog. Probably not, but I would love to. Ideally, right, I would love to do loads of movie vlogs every month, every week, whenever I'm watching a movie, if I go to the cinema, whatever, but just there's something about it. I just feel like I don't have enough to say. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm doing it for the sake of it. It's kind of an idea, though, because since we're doing these every single day now, since we're doing videos and brand new videos every single day on CM42 TV, it might be an idea to just kind of throw that sort of genre and series into the hat. But, you know, it just, it's it's the whole, uh, you know, getting around to doing it sort of aspect is kind of hard. But, you know, that's that's laziness is something that we all deal with. These are the two films that I was talking about a little bit earlier that if you've been paying attention to the channel, you may have known that I was um, wanting to buy them and watching them and adding them to the collection. The first one's a DVD and it's Drunken Master, 1976 I believe, could be wrong there but I believe it's 1976. Jackie Chan film, incredible. I When I was talking about movie vlogs, I did a full movie vlog watching this one and its counterpart, the next DVD Blu-ray film that I'm gonna watch and talk about in today's video, The Legend of the Drunken Master, Drunken Master 2 from the late 90s. So yep, we have the first one and the second one. I had to add both of them to the collection. The, now the story behind this one is, the second one was on you know TV, on ITV4 at one point. So just any time I see a film that I kind of fancy seeing on the TV, I'll click the record button and I'll just kind of leave it there until I'm looking for something you know random to watch or whatever. And uh, I thought, okay, now it's time to watch some Jackie Chan. Was kind of getting in the mood for some martial arts films. Uh, clicked on it. Realised it was the sequel, took me far too long to realise it was the sequel. So I thought, right, I'm gonna just wait until I watch the original. Picked up the original on DVD, because they didn't have a Blu-ray straight away. In fact, no, they do have a Blu-ray, but it was really expensive. I didn't want to buy it, in case I didn't like it. Bought the DVD, loved it. Uh, I kind of want to get the Blu-ray now. I know they've got a, I don't know if it's a Criterion, or there's some other form. There's a, a really special version, it might even be an Arrow, of the Drunken Master Blu-ray. Masters of Cinema, maybe in Masters of Cinema. Um, However, I just kind of love the old school look of this DVD. It looks pure, like, old school. Uh, and it kind of goes with the film because when you're putting the film in on the DVD and stuff, it's, you know, the sort of old format and that. And it does feel like an old film. It is a wee bit dated. But, you know, the fight is really holed up. It's excellent. I had a lot of fun watching this one, especially in that movie vlog. So if you don't mind, if you get time, go check out that movie vlog for me. And then the sequel, The Legend of the Drunken Master. I don't know which one I preferred. I think I preferred that one, the original. But the fights in this was just off the charts. It's kind of funny in that movie vlog, you kind of see my first reaction to seeing some of the fights in this, especially the last one. Absolutely fucking mental. There's one underneath a train track or underneath a train on the track. Crazy stuff. Great films. So much fun to watch. And I had to add them to the collection because I'm a Jackie Chan fan, always have been. So it's always nice to add some of his films to my collection. Even though, you know, even if I haven't seen them or if they're, you know, foreign uh, it's always nice to have a different selection in the collection. And finally, it was one I picked up on release day. I believe it came out at the end of September. And it is Avengers Endgame. It is the uh, number one film of 2019 so far. Star Wars isn't here yet. Uh, we have had Joker. We have had a few of the other ones that were highly anticipated. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, It Chapter 2, The Lion King. You know, those films did not live up to Avengers. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was nearly there, but... Uh, Avengers was the one that kind of knocked out of the park this year. It's currently sitting at my number one for 2019. But again, as I say, Star Wars is, is yet to come and blow my socks off. I'm sure I'm going to go and see it about 16 million times and fall in love with it every single time. So the good chance Star Wars will end up being my number one. However, as of this moment, it's uh, Avengers. This one obviously just comes with your commentary, your bonus disc and stuff. I love how they do the artwork in these ones. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. So, yeah, I mean, it's one of the most unbelievable achievements in cinema and filmmaking ever. One of the greatest films of all time, one of the biggest films of all time, one of the most important films of all time in terms of the development of cinema 
and when it comes to storytelling, character development, you know, budgeting, you know, CGI, records being broken worldwide, Avengers Endgame did it all. And above all that, it was a fucking amazing movie as well. Like, I love how people always talk about like, the records that shattered and all these big things that they've done in the Avengers films and stuff. But at the end of the day, the films are great. I know they're a bit daft, but the films are great. Like, right before I saw Endgame, like two days before I saw it back in April, whenever it was, I watched Infinity War, which we have somewhere here, which we have here. I watched Infinity War again, and I just forgot how much of an achievement, how much I loved Infinity War. So I went and did a separate movie vlog talking about this back two days before Endgame came out, just with my excitement after watching that film and my excitement for seeing the next one, the last one in the story, you know? So um, it is just unbelievable. It doesn't get the credit it deserves. The The... The fame of it all and the exposure of it all and the, you know, everybody talking about it of it all, the publicity of it all, overshadows how good they are. You know, you, cause, you know, you hear about Avengers, you go, all right, okay, the big blockbuster, all right, everybody's seen it, let's try and see something a little bit different, let's see something a little bit better with some real acting and some independent filmmaking. But at the end of the day, Avengers, when it comes to Iron Man, Captain America, whoever, Thor, all those films, Black Panther was great, Captain Marvel was amazing. All the individual films, the Guardians films, Ant-Man, all the Spider-Man films, all those, Doctor Strange, I'm just listing them all now. If you put them all together and you get these individual films, like, you know, your Endgame or your Infinity War or your Civil War and Age of Ultron and all that stuff, they are just unbelievable, just magnificent films. So, it's always nice to have them on, on Blu-ray. I'd like to try and get all the films eventually at one point, you know, and, and then do a big sort of watch through and maybe do a countdown or a feckin' uh, podcast about it or something. But there you go, there's a wee quick wee update. The really slow, quiet month or two I've had with my Blu-ray collecting, just as a saving money period, especially on the lead up to Christmas, was a wee bit funny with work and, and, and money savings a little bit before October, but now I'm kinda on the right track again and just need to save my money for Christmas just to make sure I get everybody that I love some presents and hopefully the present that you guys give to me is to continue to watch and support the channel here on CM42 TV. Quick rundown of the films again. Southpaw, my first ever Jake Gyllenhaal one that I was like, I love you. Uh, Empire State, The Rock, I love you. Uh, White House Down, look forward to checking it out. Drunken Master, Jackie Chan, I love you. Uh, Legend of the Drunken Master, check out the movie vlog for those two films with my first reactions and my, you know, um, random reviews. The things I liked, the things I didn't like. All that stuff is in that movie log. And Avengers Endgame, my current favourite movie of the year. I'd like to try and get a system where whatever movie wins, you know, my favourite movie of the year or my, my second or third favourite movie of the year, I always get those films and add them to the collection. That should be like the... Like, if you made it to the top three, you know, you get to be in the collection. So, I don't know. It's a funny system I have in my head. I'm a bit bonkers with the whole thing, but there we go. There's some new Blu-rays and movies and DVDs for the past couple of months. I'll be back. I've got a couple more that I know I should be getting in November. So, um, on the lead up to Christmas. So, I may have a really small one at the end of November. And then I'll have a big Christmas update at the end of the year. And that'll be another year fucking done. It's unbelievable. The quickest year in the existence of our, you know, of our world, of, of Earth. And the human race has happened in 2019. So, yeah. Until next time, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow me on social media. Twitter and Instagram are at CM42TV. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Go watch some movies. And I'll catch y'all down the road.